Hey guys, Richard at Ryden's Room here to my latest Doctor Who review. Uh, back in the living room with the TARDIS title screen on Series 2. Next disc, but it's still the same. So yeah, series, new Series 2 episode. God, I can remember this. Uh, whatever. Episode, question mark, early Series 2, um, The Idiot's Lantern, as in catchphrase, for, uh, slang, slang or whatever for TVs <laughs> in the uh, 50s. So yeah, this episode set in the 1950s. Queen Victoria's coronation, and I was saying earlier, it's my wife, if uh, this was a much better episode, they could have aired it on King Charles's coronation street and set all uh, even Queen Victoria's funeral, uh, Queen Elizabeth's funeral site to uh, honour her life. But yeah, the episode sucks, and it's no, 10 years since like, my last watch, it's no better. So let's get to it. So it's 1953. Um, a guy who owns some uh, electronic shop is going to go bankrupt with his £200 of overdraft, and there's a woman inside a TV, basically promises to make all his problems go away if he works for her and yeah she basically sucks people's minds out, faces out to feed on their body feed on their like body their energy through a tv set and the doctor and rose show up and they've got to stop them so it's yeah not this one basically let's just get to the end the uh it's basically taken the form it's an, it's an alien form that's taken like the form of some woman from a tv show and um yeah she's basically waiting for the coronation where millions of people will be watching it all at once and then she's going to basically suck out the life of every person and that make her strong enough to free herself because it turns out right, whatever this thing is, even her own people despised her, executed her and she's uh, just survived in this form. So, good idea. You know, it's the perfect way to, if you're going to steal people's lives by watching people you know, get them through a TV screen. And yeah, something like uh, Queen's Connection, you can get millions watching it. Especially back then when people would be buying TVs just for the event and there's obviously nothing else on really, like not like there is now. So yeah, good idea. It's just, the villain sucks. She's just constantly screaming, feed me, over and over again. Um, and she's just terrible. It's like, God, shut up. It's not so... It's... I mean, I didn't hate this episode as much as I thought I would, um, but it's still a terrible one and my least favourite Series 2 episode. There's one coming up late in the series, which is also considered a really bad one. Well, two are, two are but I think this is the worst. So. <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely worst. Like, top five of worst ever, New Doc 2, easily. So yeah, it's a uh, problem with this episode is again the Doctor and Rose like they're all, like chub oh you know, happy you know cheerful together yeah totally cool but does the episode of Mickey's gone presumably forever and there's no mention whatsoever it seems a bit strange um, and the main villain other than the woman in the TV set is this guy uh, is in EastEnders after this um, he's just so over the top I, he's a pretty unpleasant guy he's the absolute definition of that sort of dad in that time, you know, the like abusive fathers who treat their wives terribly as well as their children. And yet, there are plenty of people like that. That's totally understandable. It's just, even for what the sort of guy he's supposed to be playing, he's just so over the top. He just feels like a massive caricature. Like, there's a bit when he's like, in the time his family tried to talk back to him, like, I am talking! And it's like, just, and then, but he just does it to complete strangers, like the doctor who's opposing as well to his. Uh, psychic paper it's like Jesus shut up and yeah, again I get it there are people there are people like that then there are people like that now but he just feels like an extremely exaggerated version and it just comes off really badly that at least his wife and son are better characters and the other big problem of this episode so people are basically getting their faces sucked out and then they're being like rounded up and like imprisoned eventually Rose gets caught and they do the same to her and even though the doctors are looking at all these bodies because they're still like alive, just no faces, like all like friends prison, and he's like pretty miserable, trying to, you know, looking at taking what's been done. Then they find Rose, who's basically dumped on the street, and that's what makes him go into action. It's like, is he mad because they just threw, her, threw his friend like into the gutter rather than just imprisoning her like they did with the others? Or is he mad and only going to take action because it's Rose and she's like the one person you can't get? I can't do anything to you, so yeah, that's my issue with this episode. Doctor only springs into action when it's Rose who's been hurt by the villain, and it's just, it's the whole, the companion's most important thing, more important than anybody else, I really don't like it. You know, Rose and Doctor are just not, you know, suck together in this episode. Nothing, they don't anything particularly wrong, but anything particularly great, and I do like their, you know, bond with um, the guy's son, and yeah, it's kind of nice that even after the guy's wife kicks him out, you know, his son's still, even though he's happy to see him go, they convince him to you know, try and make it up because he's still his dad. And it's a nice message. Maybe his dad would become a better person from this, but it's just a terrible episode. And yeah, it's not one I'd ever want to rewatch again in 10 years' time. I don't think I'll be rewatching Doc 2 again. It's um, fun for a second go, but if I do, it'll probably be like my favourites only. So 
yeah, I suppose it's worth it in the sense I have to just watch this as I don't like any of the others, but yeah, not a good one worth any stretch. Easily my least favourite episode. And um, <clears throat> Love and Mom says, great episode, but misunderstood. misunderstood. <laughs> uh, fear her, <laughs> terrible, but this is the worst. So yeah, we'll see when I get to him. So next up, it's the two-parter, the, uh, uh, the Impossible Planet, I believe, is episode one. That's a good, really good one. And again, it's not one I'll come back to often, but I do like it. So I'll uh, see you next time. Thank you.